welcome to the very first video of recombinant dna technology this video includes the basic introduction uh it's a short video so please watch it till the end these are the topics which will be covered in this video basics of rdt terminologies related to rdt basic steps and few applications recombinant dna technology is viewed as the cornerstone of biotechnology the term recombinant dna means the joining or recombining of two pieces of dna from two different sources so here we are taking dna from source 1 and dna from source 2 and we are joining it so this is the recombinant dna molecule now let us define recombinant dna recombinant dna molecule is a vector into which desired dna fragment has been inserted to enable its cloning to enable its cloning in an appropriate host now let's study about the objectives to produce recombinant dna molecules number 1 to obtain large copies of specific dna fragments number 2 to recover large quantities of the protein produced by the concerned gene and number 3 to integrate the gene of interest into the chromosome of a target organism where it expresses itself so these are the objectives now to achieve these objectives dna segments are integrated into an autonomously replicating dna molecule called vector common vectors include bacterial plasmids dna viruses etc dna segments which are to be cloned are called dna inserts and now vector plus insert when introduced into a suitable organism known as host for example a bacterium this process is known as transformation transformed host cells are then selected and cloned to generate a large number of clones the rdna present in such clones can replicate either along with the host cell or independently like without the host cell replicating it can increase its number so this is how the rdna can increase its number coming to the basic steps involved in rdna technology starting with number 1 isolation of dna fragments containing a gene of interest which needs to be cloned so this is known as an insert okay the next step second step is the generation of our dna molecule we have already seen it right by insertion of the dna fragment into a carrier dna molecule called a vector that can self replicate within a host cell number 3 transfer of the r dna into an e coli host cell or say any bacteria this process is called transformation we had already seen it number 4 is the selection of only those host cells carrying the r dna and allowing them to multiply which involves selection and cloning and thereby accomplishing our aim to multiply the r dna molecules this is how the whole process can generate either a large amount of r dna through gene cloning or a large amount of protein expressed by the insert the first r dna molecules to be generated using these procedures were established by the combined efforts in 1973 by the molecular biologists paul berg herbert boyer annie chang and stanley cohen Let us finally discuss applications of recombinant DNA technology. Number 1, genetically engineered bacteria were used to produce insulin hormone. Number 2, production of hepatitis B vaccine using yeast cells. Number 3, plants such as Bt cotton were made insect resistant. Um uh, these are only a few applications there are many many more which we will see in this chapter. Coming up next, tools of our DNA technology. Please stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.